What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about the stages of a relationship that uh, people tend to go through that they may not realize these stages. But I had a client today who um, she wanted to know how long it took for the guy to actually get out of the, the mindset he was in and to want a relationship. And while I can't give you that, you know, that answer, uh, for the most part, I told her that I think the you know the situation with her guy was that he didn't want to rush. Um, he kind of just got out of a relationship, but I could tell the guy liked her. So I wanted to uh, kind of give her some stages that a relationship from you know first meeting each other to uh, actually let's put a couple here. Let's put a couple here, right? So from first meeting each other to becoming a couple, these are the stages you go through. Okay. And uh, I want to go through each of them. So obviously the first one, this would be like the first um, three dates. May I, yeah, first three dates. This is like the interview stage. This is where you're filling each other out. You're trying to win each other over. You're putting your best foot forward. You're, 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 you might lie about what you do, who you, you know, your hobby. You're, you're trying to impress the other person, right? You're uh, you're asking interview questions. That's why I call it interview. It's like an interview stage. You're asking interview questions. You're seeing if it, you're, you're a good match. Just like if you were to go in for a job interview, the reason they're looking at you is to see if you fit the company's vision, if you are something that will benefit the company, so on and so forth. This is what's exactly happening here. He's looking for again, he's looking for benefits. We'll put B. He's looking for benefits. He's looking for uh, that's a 13, right? Benefits. Uh, he's looking for attraction. He's looking to, you know, at, for your red flags. Um, he's just seeing if something's there, okay? Then when he realizes, okay, so let's say this, okay? Let's say he realizes that. Can you guys see it? I know it's cut off a little bit. I'm sorry. Um, okay, let's say check, right? He got that part. After that, he'll probably go into the courtship because now he knows, well, I like her. She has something to offer, benefits, attraction. She has limited red flags. She's fun. She's awesome to hang out with, all these kind of things. So let me try to win her over. And so this is when the guy, again, here's my famous chart here, right? This is where the guy is going on this, like this, okay? This is where his attraction is going up. He has to do the courtship because obviously he has to prove to you that he's worthy, that it's worth the time, that uh, as, the, as a male, you know, he has to win you over. He has to, uh, sh just that's just the masculine energy, right? He has to want, or he has uh, what you want and you have what he wants. And you know, hopefully that's a relationship, right? If you're on the right stage. But basically, from a, this could be from a, so, a social standpoint. You know, God, we always say, you know, in our society, guys court the women. It could be from an evolutionary perspective. You know, guys have to provide and uh, and satisfy a woman. They have to show them that they're. That's why animals fight. All that kind of stuff. You're fighting for the woman. You're proving. You're proving yourself to the woman. And that's what he's doing here. He's showing you, right? He's showing you his resources, what he has. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm loyal, I'm uh, trustworthy, I'm a great guy, I'm fun, I'm great with kids, I have money, I, you can have security if you date me, that kind of stuff. Now, when that happens, usually this would be around the four, four week mark, I would say. Uh, and from there, it will go, it will go from there to semi serious, right? To the point where you you start if you're talking to multiple people you might be talking to less. Um, that person's probably your main priority in terms of relationships, like or your number one prospect. This person is the person who you could like, you start seeing yourself in a relationship with this person. I always tell women that even though I say wait about six to eight weeks to talk to a guy about um, being a real in a, you know a couple or a relationship, you know this this subject you. You want to, you, or a guy pretty much knows around this, this I'll say chapter that he knows if you are a uh, a match, if you are what he's looking for. Okay, so he's going to raise the investment, right? He's, the investment's going to go up. He's going to add a lot more to this relationship. Now, the reason I'm bringing all this up is because a lot of the times, just like my client, it got a little too serious, too fast, and then. Like I said, the guy started kind of. Eh. Now he did. Now he still likes her, so he's up here, right? But it did kind of dip a lot. She was wondering, like, why is he pulling away a little bit? And I told her that 
in her situation, the guy just got out of a divorce or a relationship a year ago, almost a year ago. He told her straight up that he didn't want a relationship, but you could tell the guy likes her, right? Like he is putting some effort in. He's not, he's not uh, calling her around for a booty call and stuff. Like there is some interest there, but it did move too fast for the guy. Okay. Um, or oh, their relationship moved too fast, at least. It, you know, I think they were talking a little about serious things. Um, again, it was it was just the escalation was quick, okay? I mean, this was a sharp spike. Um, so the guy kind of freaked out. He, he semi pulled away, okay? So what I'm trying to say is make sure you spend a good amount of time here, right? Because you got to attract them. You got to attract them before you have the re relationship, okay? The relationship will come if the attraction's there. Which I, I need to make another video about that. Okay, so focus on the first two stages. Again, four to six weeks, right? Then that happens. But now, if the super serious goes correctly, then it goes down to threading. Now, this is where you pretty much, this is like a transition. The threading is where he kind of sees himself with you. Like, his, your stuff is over his place. When he starts making decisions, um, you're, you know, he, put, he keeps you in mind. For example, if he were to come home or driving home from work and he wants something to eat, he'll call you and ask if you wanted something. Or, if he, made, or, or he might not make plans on the weekend because he knows you're going to want to see him. The, you know, or, you, you know, you start meeting his friends, you start meeting his family, he starts inviting you to, to friends and family functions, things like that. You're threading your lives together in many ways. Now, of course, when that happens, again, the transition is much easier to a couple. Because once you, once, you, once you interview each other and you build attraction, uh, you have a rapport and you limit red flags and all that kind of stuff, you, know, you, show, you see the benefits of dating each other, then you court each other, hopefully he courts you more, then it gets semi-serious and you're not freaking them out yet, then you're threading your life together. The couple part should just come effortlessly in my opinion. It should not take any effort. The woman should bring it up or the guy should bring it up. Either way, I'm the same woman hypothetically if the guy does not bring it up. The woman should uh, say something. Uh, hopefully the guy does. But, and it should, it should just be like, yeah, sure. You know, like this is where you give them basically the ultimatum, but it shouldn't seem like an ultimatum because everything else, this is of course the perfect, uh, scenario everything else was going great there's not a lot of fights you limited red flags you showed your attraction you built these stages instead of jumping from you know one to three dates then you're like okay we're gonna get actually no you're gonna we're gonna get super we're gonna get super serious we're gonna go to a couple what are you looking for and that kind of stuff. no worry about that all right if you dig holes things fall in place if you focus on attraction it just happens okay so that being said ladies i love you take care if you want my uh my my guides they're below if you want to get a session with me again below in the description but re remind me in a future video or something or in the comments uh or a live stream to talk more about these kind of things and if you want more detail of a description about this process i have no problem making it i like these kind of things i like i don't like talking about steps or systems but this is a good way to look at it okay so that being said ladies i love you take care and peace